Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another children's message and virtual Sunday school for this morning. I'm so glad you could join me. My name is Lauren. I am the children's and youth ministries director at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Everett, Washington. Uh, and thanks for joining me today. Uh, guess what and who we're talking about since it is still the season of Easter. We're still celebrating the resurrection. Of course, we're going to be talking about Jesus coming back to life and and proclaiming that Jesus is alive. So grab the kids, get a comfy seat, and hang out with me for the next few minutes, and let's talk. I remember when I was young, I would go on camping trips with my family. I would go to summer camp with my friends, and sometimes I would just camp out in the backyard with my brothers or my friends, and it was so fun. One of the best and most fun activities that you can do on those trips is sitting around a campfire at night when it's all dark out and telling ghost stories. Have you ever done that? You might grab your flashlight and stick it under your chin and tell scary ghost stories in the dark, right? And as you listen to those ghost stories, you have to tell yourself over and over, there's no such thing as ghosts, there's no such thing as ghosts. But that doesn't always keep some of those stories from scaring the daylights out of you, right? I kind of found it hard to sleep after those nights sometimes. Maybe you do too. Now, that might sound like a strange way to begin a Bible lesson, but even way back when in Bible times, some people also believed in ghosts and were afraid of them. I have an example from the Bible for you this morning. It begins after two men had traveled on a long road to a town called Emmaus, and they were followers of Jesus, and they were talking about Jesus' death and all that had happened. And as they walked toward Emmaus, they were joined by another man. They didn't realize it at first, but this third man was Jesus himself. Jesus had risen, and he was here appearing to his to these two believers in him, or his two of his followers, um, to speak with them. So he walked with them for a while and spoke with them, and then he revealed that he was Jesus. Jesus revealed himself to them. And they went straight back to Jerusalem and told Jesus' disciples about what had happened. And as they told the disciples that they'd seen Jesus and had spoken with him and he had been walking with them, he suddenly appeared among them. Jesus was there. And he said, peace be with you. Knowing that he had died, everyone there thought he was a ghost like a spooky, scary ghost story. The Bible says that they were terrified and filled with fear, much like a ghost story can do to you, right? So Jesus asked them, he wanted to prove to them that he wasn't a ghost. He asked them, why are you troubled and why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and look at my feet. He was showing them the marks from his crucifixion when he had died. He was showing them that it was really him. And he says, you can see that it's really me. Touch me and make sure that I am not a ghost because ghosts don't have bodies as you see that I do. He's saying, touch my hands, touch my arms, touch my feet. And you can see that this is a real human body. I'm not a ghost, right? Still, the disciples weren't exactly sure what to think. So Jesus asked them for something to eat. So he ate some fish, and they watched him eat, and it showed them that he wasn't a ghost, because ghosts don't need food, right? Only alive human bodies need to eat food, right? And so finally, the disciples realized that this is Jesus, and he had come back to life, and they spent the next month or so with him. Afterward, which he returned back to heaven, but when he did that, those disciples went all over the world telling about Jesus' story, his crucifixion, his death, and his resurrection. And they never stopped telling about what happened. So you and I have also been called to tell others about Jesus, just like those disciples. We may not have been there when it happened, but we've heard the stories, we've heard about Jesus' ministry, we've heard about his crucifixion, death, and resurrection because those original disciples went out into the world and never stopped telling the story. That's why we know it today. That's why 
we are able to believe today because God put them there and sent them out so that we know today about him. Pretty amazing, right? So we must be a witness for Jesus too. We have to tell the world that Jesus is alive and that he loves us and he wants us near to him. He wants us to come close to him and be part of his family. All right, let's pray and then we'll move on with the rest of virtual Sunday school. Please hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me. Dear God, we serve a risen Savior. Jesus is alive. Help us to be witnesses of what he has done in our lives. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Okay, we're going to read our lesson from the Bible this morning. Uh, we are reading from Luke 24. We're going to read verses 35 through 48. A little bit of a longer one, but stick with me. Um, this story uh, where we're reading from takes place right after the two walking to Emmaus had gotten back to Jerusalem and told the disciples of what happened. So this is kind of what happens after. So Luke 24 35 through 48. If you're following along in a children's Bible, it's probably titled Jesus Appears to His Disciples, something like that. So let's read together. Then the two from Emmaus told their story of how Jesus had appeared to them as they were walking along the road and how they had recognized him as he was breaking the bread. And just as they were telling about it, Jesus himself was suddenly standing there among them. Peace be with you, he said. But the whole group was startled and frightened, thinking they were seeing a ghost. Why are you frightened, he asked. Why are your hearts filled with doubt? Look at my hands, look at my feet. You can see that it's really me. Touch me and make sure that I'm not a ghost, because ghosts don't have bodies, as you see that I do. As he spoke, he showed them his hands and his feet. Still, they stood there in disbelief, filled with joy and wonder. Then he asked them, do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish and he ate it as they watched. Then he said, When I was with you before, I told you that everything written about me in the Law of Moses and the Prophets and in the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to, the, to understand the scriptures. And he said, Yes, it was written long ago that, there, that the Messiah would suffer and die and rise from the dead on the third day. It was also written that this message would be proclaimed in the authority of his name to all nations, beginning in Jerusalem. There is forgiveness of sins for all who repent. You are witnesses of all these things. And actually, we're going to read verse 49 as well. And now I will send the Holy Spirit just as my Father promised, but stay here in the city until the Holy Spirit comes and fills you with power from heaven. All right, so that's our scripture reading for this morning. Uh, up next, I'll have some discussion questions. All right, guys, now that we've read our Bible lesson, I've got some discussion questions for you. Uh, these are also available on the downloadable PDF that you can find linked in the video description and where we post this video on our website, pplc.org. Uh, so you can download, print that off, and follow along that way at home if you would like. And these are just jumping off points, so you feel free to pick and choose uh, what facilitates a good discussion with you and your family and hopefully get some good conversation about today's lesson flowing. Okay, so here we go. Question number one. How did the disciples feel when they saw Jesus? And why do you think the disciples thought Jesus might be a ghost? Question number two, the first thing that Jesus says is, peace be with you. How do you find peace when you're overwhelmed by emotion or unexpected news? Number three, when have you had something unbelievable happen right before your eyes? Question number four, what did Jesus tell the disciples? Number five, verse 45 says that Jesus opened their minds to the scriptures. 
That means they suddenly understood them. How can you use scripture to increase your knowledge of God? And then last question, question number six. What are some ways we follow Jesus and witness to Jesus? Those are our discussion questions for this morning's lesson. Hopefully that gets some good conversation flowing with the family at home. Uh, up next, we'll do our craft. Craft time! Okay, so as usual, we've got a coloring page. Um, this is available linked in that PDF below in the video description and on our website. Uh, so here is the whole story of walking to Emmaus, talking to Jesus, and then they're running back to Jerusalem to tell the, the disciples about what happened. So that's today's coloring page. So download, print that off at home, and color if you would like. That is available to you. And then today's main craft, we are making some appearing art. So just like Jesus appeared out of thin air, we're going to make a message or a picture that kind of just appears on the page when you paint it. And this is the final product. And I wrote, Jesus is alive. You can write whatever, write or draw whatever you'd like. But the main thing is you need white paper. So some white paper here, a white crayon, and then some watercolor, uh, watercolors, of course, a brush, and then a cup of water to activate your watercolor, right? And so what you're going to do is take your white piece of paper and your white crayon and you're going to either write a message or you're going to draw a picture. You can draw maybe an outline of Jesus himself if you would like or a cross, anything that you would want uh, that could remind you of today's lesson. So you're going to do it in a light room so you can see where you've drawn, but I don't think you can see on here. I've already written on here. Jesus is alive in white crayon, and I'm going to show you real time what it looks like when you paint it. So crack open your watercolors, dip your brush in the water, get it nice and wet, and then choose your colors. And watercolors are fun because you can blend them all nicely and make these really pretty pastel colors. Uh, I think I'm going to start with blue on this one. Blue is one of my favorite colors. So I'll just do part of it to show you, but I want you to see what it looks like as you're doing it. So here's this. I've got some blue on my brush. I don't know if it'll work very well. Up in the air like this, but do this. Paint over. And you see the J sticks out because of because it's actually kind of sciencey. It's cool. Crayons are made of wax, and wax is hydrophobic, so it like it's afraid of water, so it doesn't let water stick to it. And watercolors are obviously made with water. And so when you paint over it, the water beads up and goes off onto the regular paper part. And then you can see the message that you wrote. Pretty cool, right? You do all of the whole word here to show you, because it's pretty fun. This is one of my favorite crafts, I think. It's a, a fun one. So yeah. And there you can see all of Jesus. And then, you, of course, you do the rest of your, your page and it will come out something like this. Very pretty, and it shows your hidden message. Pretty cool, right? So that's some appearing art for today's craft. I hope you guys enjoy and have fun making that. All right, up next we'll close in prayer together. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you this morning. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, uh, discussion with your family, and craft for this morning. I enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. Um, don't forget to check out our online virtual worship. If you haven't already, you can catch Pastor Gibbs' sermon there and some worship music also, obviously. Okay, uh, that's all I've got. Let's close in prayer together. Hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me. Father God, thank you for the miraculous signs uh, that Jesus gave his disciples to show them that he is alive and well and is still alive now. Um, but showing those disciples that he truly was resurrected 
so that they would go out into the world and witness to what Jesus had done, has done, and will continue doing for us today. Help us to be witnesses to uh, the, mirac the miraculous changes that Jesus makes in our lives every single day. Help us to shout it from the rooftops that Jesus is alive and he loves every single one of us and he wants us to be near to him. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day and week ahead of you. I will see you next time. Bye.